Hey guys, this is NASA bullshit number 22. And 10 new planets that could have life have been discovered. But oh no, we're just getting started guys. There's so much more amazing discoveries. In the grand finale, in the grand finale of Planet Spotting Prowess, NASA's bullshit spacecraft has tracked down 290 new planets outside our solar system including 10 that could have the right qualifications for hosting life, scientists announced Monday. Oh my god, and look at this picture. This artist rendering provided by NASA shows some of the 219 new planet candidates. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, that's how it looks up there. Oh, thanks for that, NASA. Good rendering. Oh my god. Wait, where the hell did I just go? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Um, anyways, I was looking at this bullshit. I'm not, I'm not gonna read it, because it's just pretty much the same bullshit there. NASA propaganda, but watch this video. Watch this video with me, guys. We used our most improved techniques, and with that we found 4,034 candidates, which include 10 new terrestrial-sized candidates in the Havel... 4,034 candidates. 10 which could have life, so... So they're saying they found 4,000 planets, possibly, are you serious? ...zone of their star. This catalog is truly unique because for the first time we have characterized the catalog and as a result it allow us to do a direct survey of Earth analogs in this part of the sky. Watch guys, watch guys. So we go to the first slide. I'm plotting here our high confidence planet candidates. Oh, uh, along the x-axis you see the orbital period and along the y-axis you have the size of the planet relative to Earth. On the there are three horizontal white lines showing the sizes of Jupiter, Neptune, and Earth for reference. What you can see here is that most of the planets found by Kepler are smaller than Neptune. And Kepler really truly has opened up our eyes to the existence of these small terrestrial sized worlds. Now if we go to the next slide, I highlight the 219 new candidates found in this catalog. Most of them are small, less than three Earth radii and several of them lie even out at long orbital periods. <sighs> so 4,000, over 4,000 new plants, guys? 10 could possibly have life, according to them. I don't know how the fuck they know that. With 4,000 of them out there. Oh my god. But look at this, guys. I made my own, my own planet graph, just like them. Look. Microsoft Paint. Oh, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. There's ten, you, ten planets right there, guys. You're paying billions of dollars in taxes to get this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Look at that, guys. I made the exact same graph as NASA. New plants discovered right here on Microsoft Paint. So they give you bullshit Microsoft Paint renditions and CGI renditions of planets. Come on, guys, it's so stupid. It's like three in the morning right now, so I'm pretty fucking tired. <laughs> but um, yeah. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think. More bullshit, right? I mean, come on. You don't, even have, you don't even have to really dwell into this too much. Just more bullshit from NASA, more propaganda. And let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.